So step zero here to building a continuous monitoring environment is right here at the bottom where we have to define what our cyber objectives are. Now our cyber objectives may be dictated for us by regulation or compliance activities, but in either case we need to define what those security controls are going to be. The first step then is to build and optimize those security controls in a software framework. Building them and placing them in Word documents and Excel spreadsheets is a great place to start. Although to truly optimize your controls and the ability to really offer an accountable and continuous monitoring environment, those controls really need to be set up in a software product. Now we use BAP software at BAPSolution.com, a great software package that allows you to have a framework to put all of your controls in. In fact, they have thousands of pre-canned controls. Step number two is to validate the implementation of the control within your environment. Remember, the objective of the control, so for example, access control or encryption, are pretty standard. We need to encrypt the data. We need to have access control implemented to secure our environment from unwanted guests. But the implementation of that control is going to vary depending upon the hardware and software, the operating system, and your own requirements. So here we need to validate, in second step, we need to validate and analyze the implementation language that's being used. And you can do that all within the software. This BAP software works very well for that. The third and last step really is to add accountability to the controls that you've built. Now this is where continuous monitoring comes in. So thus far, we haven't really done a lot of extra work that we didn't do previously. We usually build controls. Any way that you slice it, you're going to have to write out those controls and the implementation of those controls somewhere. So that may just be a Word document or an Excel spreadsheet, but if you're going to put forth that effort, you might as well put them into a framework that then will allow you to do continuous monitoring as a natural next step. And that's what we see here in number three. By piping in the event logs that are occurring within your hardware and software, your operating system within your environment, we're allowed to check the health and integrity of every control implemented within your environment. So in other words, when an event occurs, continuous monitoring is happening. We're constantly looking at the logs, analyzing the logs. When we see an event occur within the environment, we automatically flag the control that is now unhealthy. And you do this in near real time. And that drives for us what we call accountable security. Accountable security is a continuously monitored environment. This isn't another hill that you have to climb. You don't have to just continually monitor specific components like your firewall or your network. In this framework, in this strategy, you can take and define what your cyber objectives are. You can build and optimize those controls, number one. You can then analyze the implementation to make sure it meets your standards or the standards of your organization. And then you can tie in the events that are actually occurring into your environment and relate those back to the controls to give you control health and continuous monitoring of your environment, ultimately providing for you accountable cybersecurity.